you're getting ready to start a home improvement project and you've heard the word square, you're thinking it's got to be square. Are we talking about a carpenter square like this? Well, yes and no. Here's what it means. Something is square when you've got a series of 90 degree angles in the object. And for example, on a framing square, this leg of the framing square happens to be 90 degrees as opposed to the base of the square. How do you do that on a big scale? Forget about all the formulas. You don't need to know all that complicated math. Here's the easy way. Simply make sure that the bottom plate or the top plate of any of the walls that you're building are the same length. I don't care what the length is. Make sure that the wall studs are also the same length. Now you've got a rectangle. If you're building a deck, the same principle is true. Make sure that the band boards are the same length and that their floor joists leaving the house are the same length. And once again, you have a rectangle. Now, take a tape measure. Go from one corner diagonally across the object to the following corner. Check the measurement. Take your tape measure and do it across the other diagonal leg. Odds are they're not going to be the same measurement, but guess what? If you shift the long leg and make it come in, you'll shorten that distance up and it will eventually, the two measurements when you take them will be identical. When you get two identical measurements across the diagonals, the object is square. Okay, check out this little model that I made. It's square right now, and why is it important when you're putting plywood or drywall or even decking on this system? If it was the real size, it would be so much easier. Keep things square. You won't be pulling your hair out. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.